Living during an extraordinary time where you are the actor that's creating the world of the future that we want. Some of the greatest opportunities for innovation for things that are going to really focus back to quality of life and meaning in our own lives. Life is just getting faster and faster and accelerating. So it's really slowing things down and finding that meaning and connection to the people, places, and things that we care about. I think there's going to be a huge opportunity in technologies and entrepreneurship in that area. I think uh, the biggest uh, global innovation that's happening within our uh, generation today is uh, rural and urban informatics. It's one of the up-and-coming uh, themes that uh, at least uh, we're looking at. And really what it means is making cities smarter, safer, and just a better place to live. And it, it's about um, software, it's about hardware, it's about uh, deploying large amounts of data across um, urban cities. I think the biggest innovation challenge is the unbanked. All of the people that have to find a way to cash their checks without a bank account, that are in developing countries who do not have any access to traditional financial products. There's a lot of innovation in mobile payments and in financial services, micro-lending, that still needs to happen for this group. There's a lot of innovation that's happening at the top of the pyramid. We need the base of the pyramid. Every single time I use these questions on any topic, I get ideas, innovative ideas that are different than the ones I was looking at, right? I believe there are two areas that are the greatest innovation of our generation. One being the possibility of compact fusion. Compact fusion would enable essentially the entire world to become a first world nation. Uh, the second one is nanotechnologies. Technology that enables the theoretical nanotechnology materials to be built now are possible which opens an entirely new opportunity and doorway to things that once were thought impossible. The best innovation opportunity could very well be uh, just taking a look at the whole education process, how people um, you know, get into education, get their degrees, um, and just reevaluating what it means to get educated and how that process works. One of the things we launched this year in February at Rocket Space was an accelerator and it's taken challenges from inside the business and then shared them externally so that startups could apply and then we selected startups that would actually help address those challenges. So it's been a great matchmaking experience. The hardest thing we've seen over the last two or three years is lots of people getting into a kind of me too sort of problem, you know, becoming a competitor in an existing market because they think they can do something better. The real opportunity is to do something to be bold and do something that nobody's thinking about. When we make an investment, we're always looking for, okay, so how, it's for Samsung, so you're free to work with other companies, but if we want to partner together, what, what can we do together that will make this relationship strategic? It is more about the team and how they're approaching a problem than the problem itself. When we know a team has faced a problem, uh, we know that that team is going to go at it and they're going to be passionate about fixing that problem rather than just trying to come up with um, the new sexy idea or trying to become an entrepreneur because uh, it's, it's the cool thing to do. My advice to any entrepreneur is, is think of yourself as a pioneer on how you could do something really new rather than just trying to compete in an existing marketplace. For you entrepreneurs out there, do something that really means something. Do something original. Do something that uh, that we haven't seen before. Go out on a limb. And uh, if it's something that's worked well with beer, give me a call. Love to hear about it.